Just eight days left until the biggest piece of evidence in one of the biggest murder trials of the decade is no more. I'm talking about the house on King Road in Moscow, Idaho, where four university students were brutally murdered in November of 2022. In eight short days, that house is going to come down by order of the university that owns it and with the consent of the state as well as Brian Koberger's defense team. But as you may know, most of the victims' families are fiercely opposed to that house coming down. And tonight, the attorney for the Gonzalez and the Mogan families um, says there still might be a way to stop it. Carnotal families are also part of that. Um, that attorney says a civil suit, one that would also claim the King Road House as evidence in a civil case. Well, that might pave the way for an injunction to preserve the house. Months ago, uh, the family's uh, attorney, Shannon Gray, filed what is essentially a placeholder uh, that reserves the right to sue various parties over the horrors that took place uh, in that house. He says the only thing stopping a suit like that going forward is what stops a lot of litigation. It's expensive and money doesn't grow on trees. It takes a lot of money to fight that kind of action against a massive opponent like the University of Idaho. And if you think that the families raked in a whole bunch of money from their GoFundMe pages, they didn't. Uh, we checked it, and there's only three of them that exist. Uh, the grand total for all three families with the GoFundMes is less than $200,000. So unless some kind of big investor or fund ponies up, the chance of the Idaho house being saved is likely just talk. One place where it is being talked about, though, is the University of Idaho Murders Case Discussion Group. Uh, it's one of the biggest true crime pages on Facebook with about 227,000 members. And Christine Cameron and Alina Smith are the administrators, and they are kind enough to be here with me live. It's nice to see both of you again. Thank you for being on. Christine, let me start with you. Um, what are the folks in the uh, case discussion group page saying about this issue? Good evening, Ashley. Thanks for having us. Um, so a lot of people are talking about um, whether the house should be demolished or not. And, you know, when you have a question of this magnitude, of course, you're going to have people on, you know, both sides of this argument. And, you know, both sides are compelling. Some say, you know, the prosecution and the defense have gotten what they need, so it should go ahead and be demolished. Others empathize with the college kids and feel that this is awful for the students who attend the university. You know, they are having to go in day in and day out and see that painful, constant reminder of that tragic event. And so it needs to go. Others feel that the focus shouldn't be about the university or the college kids there, but instead should be on justice. Um, and these people want the house to stay because even if there is that minute possibility of Koberger um, potentially getting away with this, um, because evidence was destroyed, it should stay. And there is a real fear that Koberger could get away with this. Um, so for me personally, I think about other high-profile crimes where the juries have been able to go to the scene of the crime. Um, it doesn't happen often, but I'm thinking, you know, O.J. Simpson, uh, the Murdoch murders, um, the Parkland, Florida school shooting. Um, the juries went to these locations. Um, and this is a high-profile case, and it has garnered yeah. worldwide Murdoch. attention. Murdoch was just, you know, a few months ago, uh, several months ago, but there was a jury visit in that as well. And we should just remind everybody that Koberger, uh, while there is very compelling evidence uh, and we don't even know the half of it yet, he is still innocent until proven guilty. So, Alina, let me ask you this. Have the members at all, and I have to be quick here, but have the members at all talked about raising money to help in this legal effort and to help the families mount a civil case? Um, hi, Ashley. We did have one member that suggested to maybe raise money um, for uh, like a loss, like a like a conjecture, conjecture or something like to help raise the money for all of the families to kind of put a stop to it. Um, we do know that um, one of the families did kind of put something into effect called a tort several months ago, I think in May, which kind of allows them to hold something in place uh, for a civil case. Um, but really, they all need to, like, gather together and put something into effect. And something was presented on our page today by a member. And, you know, they said, hey, you know what, if everybody wants to raise money, we're all here for it. And, you know, let's let's put something into effect. And, 
you know. They've got eight days, right? I mean, it is it is very last minute. This date is going ahead. And as Brian Enton reported, it doesn't look like this is that same issue as before where they've postponed. I have to leave it there. Christine Cameron and Alina Smith, thank you both. So nice to see you and happy holidays to you and all of your members on the group. You as well. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.